Hey guys, it is Michelle. I just finished um, doing a workout, so that's why I'm kind of like a little sweaty and I have no makeup on. But I got some things, um, I ordered some things through eBay and I wanted to show them to you because I got some really awesome deals on there. I love eBay, don't you? Anyway, I'm going to show you some of that. I also picked up a couple things that my mother gave me. Now these we normally give around New Year's, but my uncle had some and gave some to my mom to give out to the family. Now he's made of matzi pan, and um, actually this little guy was made in New Jersey, oddly enough. Anyway, I'm going to tell you a story behind it. This is a Geltscheisser. Um, well, Geltscheissers, well, it's a little chimney sweep, and as you can see, he is pooping out a coin. There's a coin coming out of his butt cheeks. So to some people, this might be a little weird. Anyway, um, growing up, on New Year's, you would give a, a Geltscheisser to family and friends so that in the new year that there's prosperity. So I was explaining this tradition to um, a woman that I work with who's from Venezuela, and she thought it was absolutely hysterical. She wanted one, so I was like, I gotta get her one of these Geltscheissers, and my uncle still had some. So I gave her one, and she absolutely thought he was hysterical. She loved When we were kids, me and my brother, we actually wouldn't eat the little butt cheeks. Right there? We wouldn't eat the butt cheeks. So what we would do is we would, take, we would like pull the little butt cheeks off and like sit them on the counter. And then my mom's like, well, I'm not going to use the term she used. It's a German curse word for anus. Or, but I'm not going to use that right now. But... Uh, she'd be like, why are there these butts all over my counter? Because we would eat the rest of them, but we would never eat the butt cheeks because it's kind of gross to eat butt cheeks. But I just wanted to show that to you. The little guilt scheisser. A, a money pooper. I mean, I've seen ones in years past that were made a little bit nicer than he is, but he's made out of matzi pan. And, oh, these are so delicious. Um, it's going to be hard not to eat this little guy, but... So I just wanted to show that to you because it's kind of something that's funny and interesting. I mean, trying to explain this to other people, um, because it's, it's, she's not the only person I've tried explaining this to. I've tried to explain this to other people that aren't familiar with the tradition, and I get the weirdest looks. I'm sure I've, I'm going to get some weird looks for showing you guys a, a little candy chimney man pooping out a gold coin. But I think it's something interesting, so I'll show you them one last time. Little poopy man. Okay. All right. So now that that's done... I'm going to do with like the least to the most. Well, well yeah. let's do eBay first because that's I don't do eBay very often as far as like showing you guys what I've gotten off of there. But I wanted like some fun costumey jewelry. Now, I do have some expensive costume jewelry like Betsy Johnson and stuff like that. But sometimes you just want some really fun, cute costume jewelry that doesn't cost a lot. And eBay's great for that. Um, so the first thing I got was this ring. I've been wanting a ring like I it doesn't fit the finger I wanted it to fit, but I paid 99 cents for shipping. I can't complain about it. I got this cute little crown ring. How pretty is that? Huh? It fits my pinky, but it's really just the right amount of bling. I wanted to fit the ring finger. I've been wanting a crown ring for a very long time. And I thought this was just so cute. The ones I was looking at were sterling silver and stuff like that. And I was like, I really don't need to spend, you know, crazy amounts of money on a little bling that I'm only going to wear once in a while. So I ended up getting this piece of costume. And it's actually really cute. I like it. You can't really, honestly, you couldn't even tell that I paid 99 cents for it. Like, you know what I mean? I like that one. I actually got a few more pieces I'm waiting to come in because it does take a while for the shipping um, for them to ship this to you because this just this, this come from China. So I got another ring. This one is so cute. I'm probably going to put this one. This one's a little bigger. I don't know if you can see, but it's a little cat. Come on, focus. Look at him. He's got little black eyes. His tail. I like unusual pieces of jewelry. Oh yeah, that's where I was going to put them. Come on. It's just cute. And this is also 99 cents free shipping. I always look for those kinds of... Because like, if it breaks or if it tarnishes, which um, costume jewelry on eBay tends to tarnish or turn you green um, quickly. Oh, if you do have rings that turn you green, just put a layer of clear nail polish on the inside, girls. Because then... It won't turn you green anymore. That's a trick I learned back in high school. Works really well. So, um, 
I don't know if this will turn me green or not. I haven't worn them yet, but I'm excited. I love it. It's so cute. It was just one of those things like, you know, sometimes you're in the mood to get yourself something like that. So I've been looking at different pieces of jewelry. Next, I got two necklaces, and I think these were like $1.09. I've been looking at this one for a while because one of my favorite things is when I'm wearing like a tunic is to have a statement, um, like a long chain um, piece of jewelry, just something interesting. I like unusual um, pieces of jewelry, as you guys know from watching my channel for any period of time. I think it was a dollar and nine cents, but this is so cool. I've been wanting, I've been looking for a globe forever and I had one. But there's a long story behind that, what happened to it and stuff like that. Hard feelings. We're going to leave it at that. Anyway, um, I've been looking for a really good quality globe and they're very hard to find. Or if you do find one, it's made of like semi-precious rocks and it's like extremely expensive. I just want one that I can have and use and, you know, stuff like that. Anyway, so I found this necklace. It is a globe and this actually does spin. I don't know if you can see that, but the globe does spin just pretty cool um the continents they're continenty they're not exactly what they're supposed to be but they're they're close but who cares for a dollar nine and it has this little pair of binoculars attached to it as well so i like that a lot for a dollar nine you can't go wrong this is fashion jewelry just one of those fun things I think this would be, um, for some reason I'm thinking fall, maybe because like back to school and stuff like that, but I'll wear this in, in the summer too, depending on the outfit, but I think this is going to be more of a fall, um, piece. This one is definitely going to be a year round, like where I've been waiting to show these to you guys, so. This one I've been eyeballing for a while and it was in the same price point. Oh wow, this is a lot longer than I had expected. That's cool though. I've seen pieces like this go for a lot more. This is going to be a cool necklace. And I can shorten it anyway. This is an octopus. It's got that brass. Yeah, I can shorten this if I want. I've been wanting one of these for a while now. You guys know me. I love anything nautical. I've been really into anchors and I love seahorses. And I've been looking for, because I saw um, Rachel Roy has an octopus ring that I'm obsessed with. I haven't been able to find it, um, like even on Macy's or even on eBay, because I want to purchase the ring. I haven't been able to find it. But I saw this little guy, because I've been... Octopuses are cool. Octopus I Octo... I don't know what the plural is. Octopus are cool. I really like them. Um, I like anything that has to do with the ocean. So I've been wanting a necklace... Since I've been obsessed with that Rachel Roy ring. And this is only a dollar and change. Like I said, sometimes you need to just just go on there, type in like cheap rings or, you know, earrings and stuff. And you can find some really interesting, um, some really interesting pieces. Some of my favorite jewelry I've actually gotten off of eBay for super cheap. And there's a few more pieces that I got coming. Look how cute. I love it. That I got coming. But when you're getting them from China, it takes like months. I ordered these... Um, back in January, and I only just got them. But it was worth the wait. I do like it. So next, now, we went in there because my mother had a free coupon item. Like a free travel size from Bath & Body. I wasn't um, going to spend anything this time around. But I saw this, and I was like, again, me and my nautical things, I, I had to. I had a 20% off one on it. So I ended up paying $4 and change for her. I love it. Ready? Look. It is a mermaid pack back holder and she's glittery. So these are normally fives, but I paid like 430 after my 20% off coupon. Maybe that was a waste of a 20% off coupon, but any little bit that you can save, you know? I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get, and they had really cute um, jellyfish ones. And I mean, these fancy ones get me every time, every darn time. They had all kinds of really, I think they had a seahorse, I think, I don't remember. They had all kinds of cute ones there. I, I think they might have had an octopus. I gotta go back and look. I'm gonna end up buying more of these silly things. Ugh, I'm just like obsessed with them. Look at how cute. I'm so excited, you have no idea. I can't wait to put this on my bag. I'm still feeling it's a little too cold for me to put her on there yet though. I'm rocking a fox, which I had to change out. I might change it out. Here, I, I gotta, let's finish the video. She can think later. I don't want the smoke coming out of my ears and then you've seen this. 
Next, I was really excited. We went to TJ Maxx and I found a couple things for me and then I got, you know me, I always do Christmas shopping year round. So um, I got some Christmas gifts as well. So the first thing I picked up was the Steve Madden leggings. As I told you, I needed um, some new leggings. My old ones are worn out. Now these were originally $16, as you can see right there. Look what I paid, guys. That's the way I shop for my stockings and my pantyhose and leggings. Um, Steve Madden makes a good quality. I thought these might have been the fleece line because the last pair I almost bought were. These are not. These are exactly what I wanted and they were black and they were in my size. Finding a pair of black leggings on clearance is almost impossible. But I love the Steve Madden company. So I'm really excited that I got those for three bucks. Again, didn't have any time on buying them, but I buy when I when I, I know I'm looking for something and I need it, like, okay, I don't need them quite yet, but I'm going to be needing them. I start looking around and see if I can find them on clearance. So this I'm it's gonna be hard. I'm I wanna give this as a Christmas gift, but it's so cute. Look. This is a juicy couture makeup case. Open it. See the inside. The inside's really nice. So like you can just like wipe it out. It's um, cause I have one. The one I'm using is fabric. It was made by Victoria's Secret. But like when makeup gets in it, it's actually like some of my eyeshadows have stained it. So that kind of stinks. So now I've been looking for ones that have this, so you can just wipe them right out. So this has a beautiful pink inside. It's been harder for me to find Juicy Couture in the area that I live in. It used to be really popular. Maybe they're becoming like not a thing anymore and we're bouncing slightly, but we're almost done. So this was originally $42 doll or doll hairs. Come on. Doll hairs. Right there. But they were originally selling it for $12.99 and I paid $7. For it, which I thought was a really good price. Even for like a non-name brand makeup bag, I thought that was a good price. The non-name brands go for that. So I thought this was cute. This is kind of, the pattern's a little weird. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a camo, but it looks like flowery going on. And some of these things have like little faces on them. But I think this is gonna be a really awesome little gift and I'm gonna put like stuff in it. It's gonna be very hard for me not to keep this item. Guys, you know me and my love for Juicy. When I saw it, I was like, mine, and I'm like, no, no, you gotta give it to, and I know who I'm thinking about giving this to, but it's like, no, you can't keep it. And yeah, the next one, Joe's mother ha um, uses a talcum powder made of Lily of the Valley, and it's hard to find. As you guys know, I gave her one for Christmas this past oh, yeah. year. Um, the company, because there's a place in Woodside where she gets it from, the, she's been using it since she was a teenager, and she loves it. The company had stopped producing it, so it's hard to find. Even like, I always look for it now because I know she loves it so much. So I got excited when I found these. I can't wait because these are going to be um, given to her for Christmas. I found two more. These are made by Yardley. She was so excited when I gave her the one. So now I'm always going to be looking for them and I'm just going to put them to the side for Christmas or birthdays. These are... Um, Apparently they go for nine dollars normal. I know she spent a lot of money when she did get them in Woodstock But Woodstock is kind of pricey on certain items um, But this is a kind of a specialty item a lot of people don't use talcum powder anymore But I paid $4.99 for this and I mean I use baby powder which is a talcum powder I use it more in the summertime than I do in winter um, But baby powder is good for all kinds of things not just for like on your body um if you, uh, whatchamacallit, I use this dry shampoo sometimes. You can use it for a lot of different, you know, purposes. So I, um, I have baby powder and I know there's a lavender scented one. When I'm done using the bottle that I have, I'm going to get the lavender scented one. But she uses this and they did have a couple other fragrances as well. There was a lemon something or other, lemon something. I don't, lemon blossom. I don't remember, but it was, there was a few other, uh, different fragrances, but she, only uses Lily of the Valley. So I got two of these. They had a different brand as well that I was going to pick up, but I was like, you know what? Don't go too cray cray. So I got her these two and they were only $4.99. I forgot who made the other one, but I knew that I got her this one the last time and she was so ecstatic. So I was really, really excited to be able to find these. So that's how I do my Christmas shopping. I actually got a few. I don't got anybody done, but um, if I see something that I know somebody likes or that they're always looking for, I pick it up and then I put it to the side. 
because uh, especially people who are hard to shop for she can be hard to shop for so i never know what to get her and this was exciting she loves these and angels and stuff like that so i was so happy that i found those and they're a really good price i mean i got two for the price of one because they say they're about nine dollars um a piece like compared to other places and i paid 4.99 so i paid like a little like a dollar more than what one would go for for two so i think that's an awesome deal i want this bag no michelle you bought it for somebody you you can't be an indian giver like <laughs> anyway guys i'm gonna get going because i'm going to um, go take a shower now because i'm all sweaty and gross but i really wanted to show you um the jewelry and stuff that i got off of ebay i mean telling you if you just like, that didn't even cost me $5 for those four pieces of jewelry that I'm going to have so much fun with. Like I said, these are the kinds of things that if they break, you're not going to be upset over. And I like getting these kinds of things as stocking stuffers as well. I'll go on there and I'll buy um, unusual pieces. And I'll put them in, like, my friend's um, gift bags or, like, at work. Um, we do gift bags there, too. Um, like... Or if you don't know what to get somebody at the office that's kind of like in between, get them like, they have some really pretty like shiny things there that are, um, these, I mean, my jewelry is a little weird, but they have more mainstream pieces that everybody would wear and like 99 cents and stuff that you can just put into a mug with some hot chocolate. Um, I gotta like do a video on like putting together gift bags. I know I said I was going to and I never did. Michelle's bad, but that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway, guys, I am going to get going and freshen up and everything. So I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.